Dread in New York. Thank you so much for inspiring um, this generation, um, inspiring, you know, we're 90s babies. So, so the golden era of hip hop, that's what we grew up on. I remember getting in trouble for calling video music box too much and my mom's bill ran up. Um, so you're, you're a legend and we have to give our legends um, their flowers. And I really appreciate you coming out here. Warren, do you have anything to say? Come on, Warren. <laughs> Elma, we here, make some noise for the legendary Uncle Ralph McDaniels, please. I, I, I actually pulled him to the side to tell him, tell him a little bit of what I'm about to tell y'all. You know, even though this is a man, even though some of us may consider him as a legend, to me, this is one of my mentors. This is one of my my guardian angels in, in my life and in my career for what I do. And if it wasn't for you taking the risk to do what you can do and your, your power that God gave you to exploit and expose what we do in this thing of ours, this hip hop culture, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing. So I want to say thank you and I love you. And Elmon, Elmon, I need y'all one more time. Give a long, a loud, loud, loud energy for the uncle, the uncle in hip hop, the legendary Uncle Ralph McDaniels. Oh wow, that was awesome! Happy Juneteenth, everybody! Make some noise for Juneteenth! Happy Father's Day to all the dads out here! Happy Father's Day! So you know we are celebrating 50 years of hip hop this year, and I've probably been there for. 49 and 364 days of hip hop. And um, and I've lived in Elmont for 23 years. We think we've been here for 23 years. And you know, I, I keep it on the low, you know. I, I moved to Elmont so I could get on the, the Cross Island real quick and go to Hot 97, go to the city and all these places that I worked at. And, um, and here we are, you know, celebrating Juneteenth uh, third anniversary. Thank you to the Cultural Center for everything that you do. Is so important, and Juneteenth is about you know us re getting our culture back. You know because we were stripped of our language, we were stripped of our culture, our names. Clearly, my name was not McDaniel's when I came to this country, and we're the only culture that had to have that happen to them. So we have to remember why we are celebrating Juneteenth. It's super important, and people fought hard to make this a national holiday, and and for everyone, not just Black folks to tell the world why we are here today. So I'm thankful that everyone is here and this is a great community and great people and, um, and you know, folks that have two parents, you know, and, and folks that are going to college and, and doing great things like the sister said earlier, I'm not sure where she's at, but you know, that's what this is all about, is taking it further, going farther and, um, and celebrating our lives and why we're here. And you know, hip hop is a young, energy you know it's all about the young music so uh, you know like like warren said you know i've embraced him first time i heard his music and sat on you know elmont road or hempstead in a car listening to demos and demos and demos and all kinds of stuff like that and others you know my good friend Giton is always out with me or he's a barber but he also does camera work for me uh, when we're out on the road uh doing stuff and um and we're going to celebrate hip-hop this year august 11th a Yankee Stadium, 50 years of hip hop, and a group from right, yeah, give it up, thank you. That's a major thing, you know, like Yankee Stadium is a big deal, you know, and I'm on the, you know, the advisory committee, and we're celebrating a group from not too far away from us, it's their last performance, Run DMC from Hollis, Queens, and Run DMC meant so much to us because we saw them on the block, and then we saw them on TV, or we saw them on stage, and this is going to be their last performance. Rest in peace to Jam Master J. Mm. But it's going to be at uh, Yankee Stadium, August 11th. And, um, and, and then we talk about Long Island. We have one of my favorite groups of all time, Public Enemy. And, 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 and Chuck D's voice changed, you know, a nation of millions, you know. He said, I got so much trouble on my mind, I refuse to lose. And, and, and I could feel it, when I, even when I say it now, I could feel the chills. Because we do, we go through so much stuff, but we still are resilient and we still win all the time, you know. So that's what this is all about. If you're young out here, you know, be careful. Keep yourself out of trouble. Sometimes the cards are stacked against us, it's true. I'm not going to say it's always equal, it's not, you know. But 
be careful, think about your family, because everybody loves you, especially right here in Elmont, New York. So I'm glad and I'm honored to be here today. I'm glad uh, that I was invited to be part of this celebration. And uh, thank you everyone and enjoy this Juneteenth weekend. Have a good time. Yeah.